Hey, what's happening guys? Hope you're having a great day. I know that I am here. And today I want to talk to you about band stop filters, the next evolution in our series on filters. But before we get into that, I just want to show you I've got the new channel lights up and going there. And they are bringing some much needed brightness to the channel and I hope you guys are enjoying them. Okay, so we have talked about in the past um, high pass filters, low pass filters, and band pass filters. So today we're going to talk about band stop filters, the complete opposite, also known as a notch filter. So let's do just a quick review here. This is our high pass filter. Everything up here is passed. Everything here is attenuated. Our low pass filter, basically the opposite. Everything here is passed. Everything here is attenuated. And our band stop, or our band pass filter, just kind of works like this. All of this is passed. These are attenuated. And now we're going to do the band stop filter, which looks kind of like this. Pass zone, pass zone, attenuation zone. And this is an incredibly simple filter. And all we're going to use is an inductor, a capacitor, and a resistor. And it's going to look a little something like this. This is our V in. This is our V out. And we'll start with the resistor. And then we're going to come off to our inductor directly down to a capacitor to ground. And we are going to feed in here a 1 volt peak to peak sine wave. Now the values that we're going to use today are just common values that I have sitting around here. A 10 microfarad capacitor, a 10 micro henry inductor, and we're going to use a 3K resistor. And our formula for finding our cutoff frequency is 1 half pi times the square root of L times C. And if we put all that together, our cutoff frequency is going to be about 15 kilohertz. So let's bring in our uh, filter and have a look. Okay, I mean, this is just completely dirt simple here. Here's our input through this resistor. I'm using this as a variable resistor. You can see this leg isn't connected. Here is our output. Then we come through the inductor, through the capacitor, and to ground. So I've got the oscilloscope hooked up here and I'm going to probe it in two places. I'm going to probe the input and then I'm going to probe the output. And you'll be able to see the attenuation firsthand. Okay, so I am feeding in a 15 kilohertz sine wave at 1 volt peak to peak. Let's look first at the input. There you can see 15.01 kilohertz and you see the little red triangle down there showing us our peak to peak voltage of one volt. Now I'm going to do the output and you can see it's still getting the 15 kilohertz but our peak to peak is 272 millivolts. So that's some serious attenuation. And that's about as simple as it gets for a band stop or notch filter. 
once again there's our input and there's our output well, I hope you guys like this addition to our series on filters if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe that's it I'm out peace